Hi, today I want to demonstrate to you the new features in the Spider Pro version 1.6. The first one is the possibility to adjust the number of nodes in diameter of uh, of nodes locations for circular sections. For example, I will select uh, this checkbox and now I'm able to input diameter of the column if I, if I need to uh, change it. If uh, this field will be empty, the value will be obtained automatically. And the next one I will input here the number of nodes. For example, I will input here 10 nodes. I will select the column and then press create spider. So 10 nodes will be created. By default, if you will, uh, will not use this checkbox, we will have eight nodes. Also, uh, uh, we can change the diameter. For example, I will put here uh, two meters and 20 nodes for these two columns. Please create spider and we will see like that. Uh, the next one is the updated option for characteristic points for panels and openings. For example, I will select this slab, then press create nodes. The nodes we created. Uh, after that, I will select these two pair of nodes and move it, uh, let's say, from this point to this point. Uh, now I'm able to modify contour automatically. I don't need to select the contour and drag the characteristic points to the selected nodes. I just press the modify contour button and some little magic from robot. Uh, the next step should be press button select nodes. Nodes will be selected and then deleted manually. So as you see, as you may see the contour successfully updated. And the last feature in this release is the uh, possibility to create rigid zone using the um, using the slap uh, label with enormous Young's model. You know, see here I have a predefined label with the uh, name rigid and the material is also rigid. You may see this method on the forum. It's like a, let's call it Brazilian method. And how it works, it's this option, it's, it's like a test version. Uh, it has several limitations. For example, you have to create this material and the thickness by yourself. Uh, when you have it in the robot, then you will press again thickness, then select uh, the label. After that, we will select the rectangular columns. In the current version, uh, the zone will be created automatically only for rectangular columns. And if you have uh, another shape of the cross section, you may use uh, this option. You uncheck the auto and put the uh, dimension. B and, B and H and the zone will be rectangular anyway. So if we will, we will uh, if we want to create this zone automatically, we press create rigid panel and we may see that here I have a new slab. Uh, and in this case, we no need uh, a spider to use uh, rigid links. So it's just uh, another approach to create the rigid zone above the columns. So thank you for your time. Bye-bye.